After eight years of bodybuilding, it was about time that something like this actually happened. Oh, we're gonna go outside right now. If it's not too windy, talk about something that happened two weeks ago that I've been quite like skeptical to talk about because in terms of just like vlogging, prep and everything, you kind of just want to talk about like the positive experiences and all the good things and how much leaner you're getting and how prep's getting real and all these sort of things. But like there are complications, there are things that happen and stuff that you don't quite expect, uncertainties. And two weeks ago, we definitely experienced my first ever uncertainty and actual real injury in bodybuilding and the craziest thing is it didn't even happen in the gym it happened out of the gym but will it have an effect on prep i actually don't know because it's quite serious it can be something that can be quite detrimental to your ability to train in the gym just yesterday i received so many changes to my plan my calories have been dropped so substantially my cardio has been increased my supplements have been increased like this next four weeks before we increase the carbs again to fill out before the show is gonna be the most difficult four weeks I've ever had in my entire life on prep and being like mentally focused for this is the most important thing so having this complication right now it's not easy to deal with I'm just gonna put this the tripod just say right there apologies if it's a bit windy the weather is just like so beautiful today it's lovely it's like really really warm now Canada is actually getting a lot hotter so it's nice to come out to the side yes I'm wearing a hoodie it is actually very windy to be honest I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film this outside I know it's like a decent mic and it will cut out the majority of the wind but it's very distracting what if I like sit down here this might be a better option to just sit <laughs> I'm gonna start off by talking about actually what it is and how it kind of happened I now for the first time have a hernia it's a epigastric hernia there are so many different types of hernia and an epigastric hernia is something that one you can be born with two you can actually receive through abdominal pressure and it occurs when there's a weakness in the abdominal wall whether it be through ab separation and ab tear or just generally you have a weak core weirdly this didn't happen in the gym for me it actually happened while i was playing basketball with geordie and one of geordie's friends michelle like i said about two weeks weeks ago i've wanted to ignore it and just hope that it would heal but after doing a lot of research like literally copious amounts of research and speaking to geordie's family doctor various people that have dealt with the same thing i've now come to the realization that it is actually a hernia and not just a fluctuation in something happening with my abs and it is something i'm gonna have to get surgery to try and fix will this have a detrimental effect on my prep i think the answer is no for the reason that I've actually had a lump above my belly button now for the past like four years. I've just never spoken about it because it's never been something that I've ever like, you know, thought was an issue. I've just always had it. And I honestly thought that it was just part of who I was. It was just part of my body. But every now and again, it would protrude a little bit and I could get my fingers in the middle of my abdominal wall just above my belly button and kind of press it in a little bit. It's not something that caused me any discomfort. I could just feel it and I knew that it was there and I dealt with it for so many years prior. We're out playing basketball, really enjoying the weather, just like having some fun with the ball, not do like we're not playing a game or anything. We're literally just like throwing it around and just like having a chat. We've been doing it for a while. It wasn't something that I tried to do without being like necessarily warmed up. I tried to jump up and hang on the hoop and I only managed to grasp it with one hand, not two hands. When I grasped it, my core was elongated and stretched out. And on the right side of my ab, what almost connects to my belly button, I felt a bit of a tear. This was a weird experience because I'd never felt like any sort of like core tear before. Like I definitely did like tear my ab a little bit. And then you come to the realization of that in the morning, it hurt so much. And it wasn't around the area that the hernia previously was that I'd had for four years. It was literally just the ab. A couple of days in the future, obviously the pain went away and I realized, wow, this actually wasn't anything serious. But immediately after the tear, the bump that was above my belly button had gotten bigger. And I was like, oh, already knowing a little bit about hernias and the fact that they do occur when there is a weakness in the abdominal wall, all the things that are protected by your abdominal wall obviously can protrude out if there is a break. No, it's not a serious bump. It's not entirely noticeable. The one thing that I'm kind of worried about is the leaner I get and the closer I get to show, is it going to be noticeable? Because now if I lean back under certain lighting and stretch out, you can kind of see a lump. I actually posted a video on my Instagram just yesterday after a chest workout and somebody actually commented 
commented on that being like, you know, hey dude, like I'm kind of worried like you have a bit of a lump above your belly button, like is that a hernia protruding? And that was the first time anyone mentioned it in two weeks and I realized that it was more visible from that video just because of how much more conditioned I was from when I actually did it two weeks ago. Based on the fact that it didn't occur in the gym through working out, I have been very cautious with what I have been doing in the gym. I don't squat and I don't deadlift. They're not on my plan like Callum hasn't instructed me to squat or deadlift. Those are two of the main exercises that I guess you shouldn't do if you're scared of that, like achieving a hernia. And the fact that it wasn't even caused in the gym like leads me to believe like, do I even have to worry about it getting worse in the gym or do I have to just like be conscious of like overextending my core when I do things like lat pull downs or overextending or pullovers or just something that would elongate my torso. What have I been doing since this happened? I have been doing it copious amounts of ab exercises in the morning like every single morning i'll do x amount of crunches and leg raises and i've now integrated the plank into my routine as well as well as doing vacuums and everything i have to do in terms of posing practice for prep considering we are six weeks out now and i have been practicing posing a lot more am i aware there's going to be something you're going to be able to see on stage probably like it is going to be something that's going to be quite visible in some pictures or in some poses am i worried about this affecting how i'm going to place on stage absolutely not there are people on stage that have lumps and bumps and you know three toes and all these <laughs> random things everyone has things on or inside their body that aren't deemed to be normal you know everyone has insecurities and things that they don't like about their bodies and whether that's going to differentiate them on stage i don't know but honestly like if someone steps on stage and you are a hands down winner, I don't think that you can be marked down based on the fact that you have a slight hernia. The one that I have is an epigastric hernia, which is one of the ones that isn't necessarily the bad one. What am I gonna do to solve this? I'm gonna continue prep, I'm not gonna let it affect me. I'm gonna be conscious of keeping my core strong, not doing certain exercises like squatting or deadlifting. We're gonna go inside now, it's getting a little bit chilly. <laughs> All right, so that should be a bit better now with no wind. But in terms of like obviously not doing various exercises, yes, I'm very conscious, you know, going through the next six weeks of prep for the first show and then however many shows we have to do after that. The pro qualifying show after the regional show is three weeks later or two weeks. I'm not sure exactly, but I know that I definitely have another nine or eight weeks on prep. If I don't achieve a pro card in the first show, best believe I will be doing as many shows as I can this season to walk away from the work that I'm putting in right now with a IFBB pro card in classic physique. After having a wonderful conversation with Geordie's family doctor, Dr. Choi, he was kind enough to give me a lot of free advice. Healthcare in Canada, if you're not insured, is not cheap. So he's very nice to give me um, some free advice and actually reassure me that the honey that I do have, it's not detrimental and as long as I am conscious of keeping my core strong and do exercises to do so and allow the tear to heal, which I also have done because it was two weeks ago and everything does feel fine now. So to, okay, so two weeks and then like, you know, a month until I can like, you know, be a, like full capacity or just like two weeks and then I'm good to go. Okay, okay. <sighs> All right. Thank you so much. Honestly, no, I really appreciate your time. Thank you. That was Dr. Choi, Geordie's mom, or well, basically the family doctor. I asked him some questions, um, cause I, I don't know much about hernias or anything. And he basically just broke down a bunch of information. Essentially, over the phone guess like diagnose the type of hernia that I have because I sent him these pictures last night under like a certain lighting where you can like if I pull my skin up you can see the lump just above my belly button but you can't see it very well in like normal day like you have to actually like you know stretch your skin back but it's definitely there I will be okay to compete and I will be okay to continue on prep and this won't affect anything but did I worry in the very beginning when I woke up in pain two weeks ago after the tear yeah I, I was petrified because this prep has been going so well and I've been so happy with the progress that has been made and already six weeks out and already six weeks out from the first show probably in the next like two three weeks i'm going to be at the condition i stepped on stage at for body power and won the european classic championship and we're so ahead of time even before the regional qualifier and knowing all of this stuff just filled me with such like sadness and disappointment and just like you know what i've been so lucky to not receive any injuries other than a couple like bumps and niggles, like I got a little bit of under my knee pain before, I got a little bit of wrist pain, but nothing that put me out. I just took four days off the gym and I was obviously okay. Will I be getting surgery after prep? 
100% definitely, because I don't want this to become a problem later on in life. It's a very simple surgery. You can go two ways about it. One, you can make an incision just above the hernia, and the surgeon will attach a mesh layer that will bind to scar tissue and eventually strengthen over time, and it will keep the hernia from protruding out any further or potentially tearing even more. Or the same thing, but a keyhole surgery that's taken care of with the camera, and they make an incision away from the actual hernia itself, obviously hiding where the hernia was, therefore resulting in least amount of, you know, scarring or anything obviously with competing I don't want to be any scars so when I go back to the UK and I'm able to get a surgery obviously the recovery time is about a month it's about one to two weeks of pain a month of no training if you want optimal recovery but after competing I'm gonna want a little bit of time off I'm gonna want some time to just like spend time with family chill eat food relax be stress-free but definitely when I am situated back in the UK I will be getting a surgery obviously if I do receive a pro card I'm gonna have to have like a year and a half off season to be competitive on a pro stage I have to build so much freaking muscle if I want to be competitive at all on a pro level stage if I was a pro which is 240 pound my last stage weight was 191 predictable stage weight this time being 200 which I'm literally still 15 pound away from I am able to gain 40 pound of lean muscle tissue to hit my weight cap which I am so far away from which means there is a lot of room for growth and we need to take care of myself am I scared to do a surgery hell fucking yes I've never done a surgery in my life I've never been under like the needle except for obviously <laughs> doing it myself but you know what I'm trying to say like I've never been put to sleep and had anything like that done so am I scared yes have I laid in bed you know over a couple nights after it happened a bit sad and depressed and worried like of course like but you know you just have to like things happen in life and you just have to like kind of suck it up things are going to get difficult and complications are going to like arise but what defines you as a person and you know the the, the success that you're going to you know, take from life is how you deal with those situations and how you act as a person under stress stress what's a stress <laughs> lisp yo if i got a lisp shaved this off and competed in classic physique well chris is a savage <laughs> so i was starting to feel kind of untouchable like with no injuries of eight years of going to the gym I, when it happened i was like you know what like about time. Like I've been killing myself in the gym trying to gain muscle for so long and I haven't experienced any sort of like discomfort or any sort of pain or any sort of injury and around the age of 24, 25, 26 I have to go into the gym for so long like things are going to start to happen but deal with them accordingly, you know, be careful, allow recovery. I will bring my best package to stage I've ever brought in my entire life. Like I said at the beginning of this video, a lot of changes have been made that I received yesterday. They've actually started today and I'm already feeling it. I've also never been so ready or prepared for anything in my entire life. Like this shit's about to get real and I'm ready for it and I'm not gonna let this small complication get in the way, get to me, get me down. All the comments, all the DMs I get on a daily basis now, like as I get closer to the show, as I get leaner and leaner and leaner, the love, the support has just been absolutely crazy and I just wanna say thank you as well for being just so like freaking supportive on this prep because I'm lucky enough to have an incredible girlfriend, an incredible support system, amazing friends around me that do support me so much but when I open my phone and I just receive the love that I receive, it's just like such a, it's like a nice surprise and I just wanna say thank you, I really appreciate it. With that being said, I'm about to cook some food behind me go on a bit of a walk to make sure my activity is high today because I do have a rest day it'd be really easy for me to just stay indoors and absorb myself into my laptop but I do have a step count here for the day so I'm gonna eat some food go for a walk enjoy some of the nice weather listen to a podcast the next video is gonna be a complete update with all the changes that have been made I'm gonna be talking about that and obviously taking you through under six weeks out and what a day in the life of that is looking like for me. I'm also going to do a physique update at the beginning of the video too to show you what I'm looking like so you can see my physique at this point but um yeah I'll see you then. Peace. <laughs>